You can feel it in the air. The first winter weather of 2019 is slowly creeping in. Some people around the Triad have already seen some sleet and snowflakes. In a moment, we're going to check in with our live crews tracking conditions across the Piedmont Triad. But first, let's get the very latest forecast from meteorologist Michelle Kennedy. Michelle? Well, we're continuing right now to see, yes, wintry mix already starting from earlier. And that transition, we've got some folks reporting a little light freezing rain up from Ash County with some sleet mixing in there. And then also some flurries have been spotted with sleet also in the mix for a lot of folks from the Tride. Points south and east are even seeing rain as temperatures are hovering just close to the freezing mark north of a line from the Triad and starting to cool now in the Mount Airy region in North Wilkesboro. Now that we've had the sunset, Temperatures should get colder and colder, and this should help to increase possibilities of snow back to the west, but also aloft. We're watching that storm carefully. We are under a winter storm warning for now the triad back up into the mountains and the western foothills and down to the south and east. Ashboro, you have been under that winter weather advisory. There's a chance you might be added to this warning if the shifting low continues to move south and east a little bit, putting you in a greater risk area for more ice accumulation. Right now, Davidson County has been added to the warning, and we are expecting to see that threat of some icy accumulations take hold as we go overnight. So it hasn't gotten bad yet. We did have some spits of sleet here and there across the Triad and Winston-Salem and Greensboro earlier today. Now we're dealing with a little bit of that mixed in with some rain, waiting for it to cool. The best chance of snow is still to the north and west. A transition to freezing rain and rain happens by early tomorrow morning, somewhere between about 7 and 9 o'clock in the morning. We may see more rain and certainly in the southeastern locations. More ice impacts are looking likely for a greater amount of folks. We've dropped your snowfall totals, likely little light accumulation possible across the Triad or less and one to four inches still for folks up in the mountains and western foothills. That area of freezing rain concern does spread over the triad. Parts of Lexington now included in this and Yakinville. We've been talking about more icing possible, tenth to a quarter of an inch on average, and then up to three tenths of an inch in some heavier spots in sections of the triad. And elevation may help with that light icing possible to the south and east. But our main road should be okay as we go through early morning, though. Things get icier and icier and travel becomes more difficult. We'll take a look at the storm, talk about timing and track the forecast as we head into your Monday morning too. Thank you so much, Michelle. Let's get to our crews out in the field to see how this forecast is already impacting people in the triad. Steve King is in Wilkes County, Janae Lewis in Winston-Salem, and Bill O'Neill is holding it down in Greensboro to continue our winter weather team coverage. Let's start now with Steve King. Steve, how are things where you are in Wilkes County right now? I'm here in Wilkesboro where the rain started back up around five tonight and actually DOT crews say that might be a good thing. The reason why is it might spread out some of the salt brine that we see on all of the primary roads throughout Wilkes County right now. I asked DOT leaders if it was a problem with that rain coming down, if that might mean the salt brine would be less effective. They said no, it would just spread it out a little bit and make it more likely that the roads won't be quite as slick when we are expected to see some of that icing into tonight and into tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, EMS crews say they have all of their crews on standby right now. They are ready to respond to whatever calls if necessary. Good news is as of now, they haven't responded to any weather related calls that we know about as of now. But let's send it over to our Janae Lewis who joins us live in Winston-Salem right now with a look at the conditions there. Janae. Thanks, Steve. We're here now at the brine station on the city yard here in Winston-Salem and crews were out pre-treating the roads and applying that salt brine mixture till late in the evening and they are still out there at this point. I want to bring in now Randy Britton with the city of Winston-Salem. We're starting to see some precipitation fall, but not what we're expecting overnight and into the morning. What have crews been up to today? Well, uh, earlier this afternoon, about three o'clock, we had uh, some, precip some precipitation that was falling. As a result of that, we wanted to go back out, check the bridges, check the overpasses, check those icy spots that we know exist throughout the city whenever we have these kind of events, just to make sure that the brine was still holding up. And uh, the crews are still out. They're just driving through the city, making sure that everything is still okay. And as we get into the overnight and early Sunday morning hours when we're really expecting impact, what is the response going to be like? Well, we're really going to wait and just see what the weather is going to bring to us. Uh, if we continue to get the, uh, the sleet like we're getting right now, it's very light. As long as it's light like this and the temperature stays above freezing, which it is right now, but it's uh, forecasted to go below freezing after midnight, then we may find ourselves having to reapply some brine or even some salt. What would be your biggest piece of advice right now to people in Winston-Salem? I would just say that people need to just pay attention to the weather and, uh, and just go according to the precautionary measures that are being uh, uh, put out there by the police departments. 
And I know that there is, is there a number that they can call if they notice something? This is a non-emergency number, but if they notice, notice something out and about maybe trees being down or anything like that? I would just say that they need to call CityLink, and that's uh, 311 or 336-727-8000. Thank you so much for your time and much the same as we are keeping an eye on conditions in Greensboro as well. We're going to send things now over to our Bill O'Neill. Bill, how are crews preparing there? I tell you what, they are already working around the clock today. They started at noon today with all those salt trucks and the well as the plows. They're out and about So another lost weekend for the city crews. <laughs> seems like this stuff always seems to happen on the weekends. They started brining the streets, we're told, last night and today they're all ready and ready to go. Right now in Greensboro today, we've had very little rain, very little sleet mixed in. Basically, it's just been a cold and windy day. Right now, there is just a tiny hint of something falling. I'm not even sure if it's rain or sleet at this point in time. A lot of traffic out tonight. The roads are just fine. There's really nothing on the roadway to uh, give you any, any problems. We're outside of the Outback on uh, Battleground Avenue, and the parking lot here is packed, so a lot of folks are out trying to get that night in at dinner before the bad weather hits. Photographer Daniel Cruz and his lovely wife are at the supermarket today. They tell me that the lines there were not bad at all. That means folks are either prepared or they're really not that worried about whatever is coming. So everything here in Greensboro is good to go. We're just waiting to see what happens, hoping for the best. Certainly don't want that ice. We don't want those power outages. That would be the worst of all. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill. Throw it back to you, Talitha. That's exactly right. Thank you so much, Bill, and a big thank you to all of our crews, reporters, and photographers out there braving these elements. I know it's chilly out there for sure. Several local churches and businesses are opening late or closing altogether tomorrow. Those closing and delays are scrolling right at the bottom of your screen right now.